Hello everyone and welcome to Night Ghost 49. We're here in Fallout 4. This will be the prologue to our story here with Anna, the lone survivor of Vault 111. I thought I'd do a prologue here and talk about what we're going to do in this Let's Play. Uh, a few things to note right away is we're going to do about 30 minute episodes. We're going to be able to... Um, I'm going to play when third, third and first person. Uh, but I want to talk about a little bit of the backstory here of Anna. We've always done this. We did this with Skyrim. I think it, it adds a lot more depth and, uh, and life to the character. Now, as you can see at this point, Anna is out of the vault. I'm not going to go into any of the story about that uh, now. This is stuff that we've seen in E3 that Bethesda shared, so no spoilers here, really. Um, but Anna, a little backstory, she grew up in D.C. Grew up in the city with her parents. Wasn't wealthy, but uh, definitely around political life. She kind of shunned away from it, didn't want to be the charismatic figure that her father and mother were. Um, she supported America. She supported the unification of the nation and the fight for natural resources to keep us on top, believing that we knew best and how to police the world and do things right. But over time, she slowly began to be disillusioned as uh, the war drug on. She saw that uh, other sides definitely had viewpoints that fighting over natural resources seemed kind of futile and there had to be a bit of a better way. So she moved to the Boston area to, to get away from the family, go to school, uh, to study you know, design, to study engineering, and really just kind of uh, pursue her, her love for creating and crafting, uh, whether it be homes or uh, machines. She, she's rather adept in that regard. And then she met Nate. Uh, she met Nate and fell in love. And uh, <laughs> it started to change her view a little bit. He was, a, he was an army man, which, which fell in line with her original views of, you know, American dream and defending the world from, from evil organizations and, and all that glamorous jazz. Well, Nate served a stint in the military. She got the uh, wonderful pleasure of being an army wife, and uh, she started to realize that war, well, war, war never changes. Uh, she started to realize that it's a difficult prospect, that there are many sacrifices on multiple fronts, and she didn't want anything to do with it. So her and Nate slowly began to be a little disillusioned by that dream, began to look a little bit deeper and realize that they had a bit more to live for. Um, they didn't need to be a part of that as much. So Sean actually did not re-enlist. He was honorably discharged. They moved here uh, to Sanctuary and then had had little Sean and started their own family. But they continued to grow worried about the, the activity of the U.S. military, China invading Anchorage, and uh, the many conflicts that went with that. As, as they... As the events unfolded here in Fallout, they they realized you know Vault Tech started moving in. They realized that that was you know it is run by the government, but uh, probably the best bet that they had for actually preparing for if things really did get bad. They had talked about moving up into the mountains, trying to actually get a home or a, or a cabin, mostly the bug out shelter, right? Um, but they did obviously their homes one of these wonderful modular homes, very affordable. They were going to be saving up and trying to get something better. For life with Sean. Basically having kids really changed their perspective and made them want better and greater things. So that's kind of her backstory from DC, grew up around politics, uh, kind of a tinkerer's mind a little bit, but um, reluctant to fight. But she's fiercely loyal and that's the funny thing about her is um, she doesn't like violence, but she's fiercely loyal to a fault. So she will get into a fight to get Sean back. If someone, as as a kid, if anybody said something wrong about her family, she would fight for them. She's she's just a very loyal and uh, aggressive person to what she believes is right. And we'll see that unfold as we play through here. Now, again, I'll mention that we are doing a vanilla play here. I will be doing a modded play as we move forward, and I will most likely create a different character, probably a male protagonist just to switch things up. I honestly feel that female protagonists can be shown in an awesome light, uh, definitely some, some equality, and, and definitely this character is actually inspired by some women in my life. Um, I won't go into that too much here because we're, we're talking about Fallout, but just so you know, uh, that's kind of my reasoning 
behind that. So hopefully everyone can uh, can enjoy that and um, appreciate that that's what we're doing. And then also I'd like to mention a couple other things that I, I would like to go into more detail as we move forward in the game. As more of a community thing, we know in Fallout that uh, we have settlements, we have weapons mods, and we have armor mods. I would love if people were to share those mods with the Night Ghost community. So I want to see your settlements. I want to see what you build and what you change. I want to see your, your armor modifications and how you set things up and why. And then I also want to see weapon modifications and how you um, actually change those out because those load orders can be very different and the modifications can be very specific to what you're doing here in the following universe. And with all the mods that are built into the game already, I'm not, I'm not talking about mods like Nexus or, or any of the other things that we will be doing. I'm talking about uh, things that are built into the vanilla game itself. So I'd love it if people shared that, uh, shared screenshots. I'd love to showcase those on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And those can definitely be sent to uh, nightghost 49 channel at gmail.com and I'll put that in the description as well. So thanks everybody for joining. I really hope that uh, you, you're you looking forward to this Let's Play. I am very ecstatic to be uh, playing Fallout to start a new character, a new story that we can develop and grow and uh, and kind of get, kind of sink our teeth into because I've, I've been looking for something else to uh, continue forward. The similar things that we did in Skyrim. So thanks everybody for joining. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Do all the good stuff to get more of these uh, daily and weekly videos. And I will see you guys next time. Later.